uh, quite a bit of time on this because it is not the easiest thing in the world to do, scanning a document. Uh, I will confess right up front that I rarely use my phone to scan a document. I rarely use it to scan text. Um, I prefer to scan through my printer, but if you have a, if your printer doesn't scan, then you, you might wanna learn how to do this. So we'll go through this. It's also convenient in that you can scan directly into an email or directly into a text or, well, I don't think you can scan, you can scan text into a text, but not a document. And you can scan either a document or text into notes. And so, you know, that's, that's kind of helpful. If you, once you start using it, it's not real quick when you're first starting, but I can guarantee you that. So you can scan a document directly to a file that's on your iCloud account. So what you need to do is touch the files to open it. And then on the screen that opens, touch browse at the bottom. And browse is looks also like a file, the little notation for it. And then once you do that, it will open up to the browse. And then there's these three little dots on the upper right hand corner. And if you touch those three dots, what happens is that you have a choice to scan documents or connect to a server or edit. So we want to talk about scanning documents okay, I can't find files. from that pop up menu. So it does take some practice. So when you touch the scan documents, you have to have whatever you're going to scan, you have to have it ready. You see a blue folder that looks like this? Yes. Okay, that's your files. I save all of my files to my documents in the cloud. So that's why I'm more than happy to be able to scan to the cloud. Okay, so <clears throat> you have found the files. Mm -hmm. Look at the very bottom. At the very bottom is a menu. And the first thing that it says is recent. The second thing is shared. I have no shared files. And the third thing in the bottom right hand corner is browse. I want you to touch that right hand corner, that blue <laughs> file where it says browse. Touch that browse and then Go, it should say browse up at the top of, yeah. this, of the page. All right, then in the upper right-hand corner. But oh. Okay, so if you touch that, those three dots, then you have the option to scan documents. So at this point, I recommend that you get your document ready before you touch scan documents. So I now have a document that's sitting here on my keyboard. And I'm gonna scan that document. So here it is, and notice the blue, this blue, it's looking for it. I have it on auto. So it just took a picture of it. And now I'm touching the save button in the bottom right-hand corner. And now it's asking me where I want it. So scan document. So I think it just, yep, it just scanned it. Oh, I still can save it. So when you are scanning, yep. the save is on the bottom. In order to stop the automatic scans, you have to touch save. Once you do that, then like, I can see where save is in the upper right-hand corner now. Yes, that's true and I'm looking for a place that I want to save that. So these are all the files that I have. So I'm gonna save it there. You're not gonna have the same files that I have because those are my documents on my a file called scanned documents. So I opened up documents and I looked for scanned documents and that's where it is. So the scan, oh. that's where I saved it. You can, by touching the auto, you can take it off 
auto and turn it to manual. And oh. it's a little bit more user friendly then. Ah, that's much, much better. <laughs> so you can scan multiple pages of a document. This particular example that's on your screen right now is the a COVID-19 self-home test, and I scanned the front and the back of it. And then, uh, I, you know, if I wasn't satisfied with it, you can retake it or you can save it. And you can put it in the uh, location of your choice, like I just tried to sh show you how to do that. And it'll show up as a PDF document. So here's the scan document too, is a PDF document. And it was this um, document right here. So I went through this. Um, if you open your iCloud drive to where you want it, you can actually save it right into that particular file. You know, that's all determined by if you actually have your um, documents file on your in your iCloud set up ahead of time. And if you have that set up, then you can, of course, save it wherever you want to. I just happen to have a lot of files uh, on my on, in the cloud. And so I am one of those kind of people that want to keep things <coughs> orderly way so I can find it later. But it's that throws three dots up at the top. Okay, so you can attach these files as you would a regular file to an email. And since it's in the cloud, you can don't have to be using your phone to attach it. You can be using your computer or you could be using your iPad and uh, you can attach the file that way. And whether you're using an iPad or your iPhone, this is what's going to happen. You To attach it, you touch and hold the body in the email. And this uh, uh, a rectangle will appear. And you keep on clicking the arrow on the, on the right-hand side until you find attach file. Yeah, go ahead. I'll call you when there's something else. And when, and then you have to go out and find that file and attach it to your email. And this is a sample of what it looked like when I sent it to myself in another email account. So the file was attached and it went off. Now to make that easier, you can actually scan a document